ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. You've clicked on the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, January the 12th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters with you for this edition. And it looks like things are relatively calm compared to where we've been for the last couple of days. Let's go ahead and take a look at some Skycam images. Here's a look from our... Cullman Sky Cam, a rather interesting sunrise as we're going to see some clouds today. Camera having a little trouble focusing there at Gadsden, but still interesting shot as we see the sun coming up and we see the lights winking out and we got a little fog. And then certainly do like this shot from down at Selma as we look at the Edmund Pettus Bridge down there. The cold front that came through here uh, on uh, Thursday and produced all that weather is now Lurking off the southeast Atlantic coast in the upper levels, we uh, don't have any strong short waves in the immediate vicinity, but we are watching the short wave over the Texas and Oklahoma panhandle that is digging down and going to help to change things to a little bit colder conditions. And what about this? The watch warning map. Holy mackerel. There's nothing on there. I hope that's not a misprint, but uh, certainly looks like the weather has calmed down. Temperature-wise, kind of chilly across the southeastern United States with freezing temperatures across much of the Ohio and Tennessee River Valley. A little bit closer there, we can see the value is ranging from about 28 at Gadsden to about 34 at Birmingham and Calera when I was doing this uh, just after 6.30. QPF-wise, looks like... By the end of the forecast period, in about five days, the end of this forecast period, and this is the five-day QPF, it looks like we're going to be dealing with a storm system in the Gulf, and that could produce some light rain for central and north Alabama. All right, let's turn to the GFS 06Z model run. Here is the 500 millibar pattern for tomorrow, and we see the short wave that is going to help to reinforce the cooling is uh, over, oh, about, uh, looks like about... Uh, Gatlinburg or so with another piece of energy over the Four Corners area that is going to help to dig that trough a little bit deeper and bring colder air our direction. At the surface on Sunday, the high pressure off to the west is, uh, you see the 540 line uh, running about Calera. Not much changes with the surface pattern on Monday as the high stays off to our west and we're continuing to be influenced by that. The high migrates over to about Memphis on Tuesday, and that should uh, continue to be another dry day. Now, by Wednesday, the 16th, we see a very deep trough developing over the central United States with a nice piece of energy over the northwestern Gulf of Mexico. And in response to that, we see a low forming. Uh, just to the south of New Orleans, but it doesn't look like it's spreading precipitation that far north. Kind of an intermediate time. This is uh, midnight on uh, Wednesday night, and you can see the low uh, between Jacksonville and Tallahassee. And kind of an interesting thing we're going to have to watch because it's showing the 540 line, uh, oh, about down to Hamilton or so, with uh, the possibility of some precipitation. Advancing to Thursday, the low moves up the Atlantic coast, and that's going to be causing some problems for them. But notice the 540 line approaching New Orleans, so going to be colder. The 540 line and the, the dry weather continues into Friday, and you can see it looks like it's going to be a rather chilly end to the upcoming week. Uh, we see a slight moderation to that pattern on the, the Saturday the 19th as we stay dry. And then uh, you can see that the westerlies have migrated just a little bit north by Sunday the 20th. And we're still dry, but we're watching something developing again uh, in the northwestern Gulf of Mexico. All right, let's go out a little bit further into voodoo land. And this is Monday the 21st. And it looks like that something in the Gulf is, may come our way and give us some precipitation by Thursday, uh, we still have got the long wave trough over the central part of the country, and with that, it looks like a fairly stout front with some rain uh, coming our way. And then way out at the end of the period, this is around 372 hours or the 27th, looks like the westerlies have retreated once again, but it certainly looks like it could be somewhat of a wet pattern for the end of the month. Well, we appreciate you tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Certainly appreciate that and hope that you have a great Saturday and a great upcoming weekend. God bless.